So, this is the quality of Foresight Sports. Simulator in a box, the Birdie Plus package. Wait till you see this. Yeah, this happened after just a few balls being hit. Um, they just go right through this mesh. So this stuff is not, it's not well built at all. They changed the frame too. The frame's pretty chintzy. And then this is the other thing that I've had happen as well. There's this back screen that comes with it, right, for the projector. And you can see how much that's pulling apart. So, you know, as far as quality goes, this has only been, we've had it for 60 days. So, this is the quality of what they're putting out. And so that thing that you see where it's all nice and tight and it looks cool. And, you know, I got great space. You know, it didn't come with a monitor. I had to get a monitor. So there's like, there's little things that if you're charging the kind of money you're charging for a golf simulator, um, it really needs to be done better. So I would not, I can't recommend uh, Foresight. Plus I had a couple. A, a, a problem with the computer already on there. It seems like it's resolved, but um, would I go with another GC3? Probably not. Um, my son's going to college to play golf, and this this is an important piece of equipment for us. And I can't have anybody over, and with the condition of this, it looks just crappy. I mean, yeah. So I would definitely... Um, steer clear. There's other brands out there. I would try something maybe different. Um, and, and, and here's the reason why. It's because I have called five times. I have, I don't know how many emails. I keep getting run around. Nick Hughes said he was going to take care of me. Then it goes back to some salesperson that just, or uh, some customer service rep that just got there. Then he passed me off to another rep. They told me I got to go back to the sales department to talk about this stuff to get this repaired. I need your address. Like they didn't have my address on file. It's just straight games. Now they told me in the next 48 to 72 hours that I would be getting um, this stuff. So I hate going on rants like this, uh, but this is a big deal. And if people are paying what they're paying for these golf simulators, and you're promising to deliver a product, you should do it and take care of your people. Um, I cannot recommend them. The, the parts they're getting from China, they're buying the absolute bottom of the barrel. Um, you could put the simulated together probably yourself a lot less expensive than what they're doing and make it higher quality. So um, I won't recommend them and I won't ever probably buy. A, I was going to get a quad, but I'm definitely not going to do that now. Um, we'll, we'll end up doing something else in its place because it just, you know, and I think when you see foresight all over the PGA tour and, you know, in the full swing, the video, I think they just, you know, they gave them out as a marketing thing. It's no different than old house and pool tables back in the day. Um, you know, using their, their tables for marketing. And so, yeah, I don't know, you know, I don't know if I really can get behind this brand anymore. So I'm very frustrated. They've had multiple chances for them to correct it. And for me to still get run around, I'm pretty much done. So that's my thing on Foresight Sports. If you want me to go, if you want a video on the GC3 and the accuracy, I will show you some of the flaws that I find in it. Um, but anyways, yeah, just reach out if you have any questions or comments. Um, you know, so I if you have one of these, I hope you've had better luck. Um, if you're getting one of these, just make sure that you look at the quality of the stuff that you're getting. So, all right, that's it. My name is Sean Whitfield and you guys take it easy.